Hello. Hello guys. Today we are going to discuss about uh, creating custom libraries uh, with the help of Visual Studio and uh, using those custom libraries inside uh, uh, Blue Prism. Uh, let's get started. Uh, here uh, for creating custom libraries I am using uh, Visual Studio 2017 and uh, you guys can use uh, your own uh, Visual Studio version. There is no restriction for that. And uh, uh, so while uh, before creating it, click on uh, File, select New, and click Select Project. Here uh, you can select uh, your own uh, uh, programming language. Here I have selected Visual C Sharp. If you want Visual Basic, you can select Visual Basic Class Library .NET Framework. And uh, for Visual Studio, uh, sorry, Visual C Sharp, I have selected Class Library .NET Framework. Should not be standard. It should be framework. So I'll give the name as class library one as is. So my class library one is got created and I have a class called class one. So I'll just keep the name as is. If you want to uh, customize the names, you can customize it. I have some ready-made code available with me. This is very basic code like uh, addition, subtraction and uh, concatenation of two strings. Here you can see the data. Uh, the first method is add, second one is subtract, third one is say hello. You can understand the code by uh, watching this code. I am done uh, with this code. I will click on build. This will build the library this will create class library and uh, it will gives me a dll file which we can use in our blue prism next what we should do is uh, copy this library and paste it in uh, blue prism uh, autom automation uh, folder copy go to the blue prism automation folder so blue prism automation is the base folder paste it you can see class library one here and now i'll jump to blue prism So I'll add a new object called library test. First we need to add that DLL. Our DLL name is class library one DLL. If you want to see the library name or DLL namespace name, you can right click on the project, uh, click on properties. It will open properties uh, 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 properties pane. Here you can see this is the assembly name and this is the default namespace, which will uh, uh, generate uh, uh, dot DLL with this name and uh, namespace would be this if you want to modify it you can modify before building after building this will be as is so i'll take this uh, class library name this is my class library and uh, this is my namespace in my scenario both are same sometimes this may different click on ok and i'll jump to the actions we'll drag a code stage link it start adding parameters i'll give a uh, b and uh, in message 
so first one is number second one is number third one is text so these are the three parameters that I want so I have given the first value as uh, 12 and second value as uh, 10 and uh, the input message is query part and the output output parameters also we need three so add result I have a add method uh, I wanted to store the add result to add result uh, data item I added sub result that is also number type and I have uh, um, out message this is a text type I'll start writing the code so my class name is class 1 so I need to create an object to this class add result equals to calci dot add a comma b so this will execute uh, add method inside our class library and um, I have sub result calci dot subtract a comma b this will execute uh, uh, subtract method I have out message calci dot say hello I will pass in message we'll check there are no errors click OK and execute this refresh execute now you can see the result addition of the two numbers 12 plus 10 22 and subtraction of the same is 2 and the result of the message I passed a query bot as my in message and uh, it concatenated hello and it returned hello query bot so this is how we can start uh, uh, utilizing uh, class libraries uh, basically you can add more complex uh, business logic in the class library and you can uh, use it inside blue prism please uh, feel free to share your comments or thoughts uh, thanks for your uh, support thank you for watching thank you